Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. Today, we're going to have a nice special session, an introduction to Sharper Light by uh, one of our great staff members, Russ Skiba. Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. Fantastic. Good morning, everybody. What I'm here to do today is kind of give you a quick overview of the uh, Sharper Light product. Uh, it is uh, an add on that installs very easily. Uh, I will show you a little bit of that if we have time, but what I really want you to do is kind of get my hands dirty and, and show you how the product works. Uh, it basically creates a link between uh, Sharper Light uh, and your SAP database or any other databases where they have data models that you can connect to. Uh, but I'm going to strictly stick with the SAP this morning. Uh, show you how quick and easy it is to learn to do. They have this nice reporting package that you see I'm working with today that comes with the product. So you're not building everything from scratch and it gives you some great examples you can go ahead and you can build off of. So uh, with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to build a quick report for you here. Now, the beauty of Sharper Light, when I've trained people, if I block out four hours, the first two hours I'm training them, and the next two hours, they're telling me to shut up for us because they know what they're doing. Really, it's, it's going to be that easy. So what I'm going to do is just a simple report. I just want to pull a, a list of business partners out of SAP. And there are three icons up here that are my main query builder icons. I have a value, which brings out one cell of information, a table, which will bring a snapshot, and a sheet function, which allows me to do like a table, except it will let me have expands and groupings into it. So the first thing you're going to notice, I'm going to go into Sharper Light and I'm going to go to tables. Now, I also have the ability, if you are right clickers out there, the same menu exists with the right click. I can get the same formulas and values. As we go through the presentation, you'll see right click unlocks a whole lot of other options for you to go through. But I'm just going to go simple, down and dirty, and I'm going to say I'm going to take a table. And the first thing I'm presented with is what's called the Query Builder window. This top section up here is the filters, and you'll see the selections and outputs automatically load from our SAP database as soon as I click the table. Again, the data models are already built by Sharper Light, and they update them on a weekly basis. So if there's a table that was missing or a field, they're on it. They, they get it done ASAP. So uh, first thing I'm going to show you up here, I've got my various modes, how I want to build, summary reports, detail, et cetera. I'm just going to stick with the summary mode. I'm going to say, which product am I using? This allows me to do multiple databases. You can see in my, our demonstration, we have multiples we can pick from. I'm going to go right with SAP, but I have set this up where people can pull from uh, a database in their China division that's in a completely different version of SAP. I'm working with one client where we're migrating from the other guys, and we've set up a link because Sharper Light had their database model, so there's no more going back and forth to the IT guy when I need something. I can just go ahead in the system, pull it, send it to their accountant, verify this is what you want. Yep, boom, DTW it in. So I'm going to go ahead and say SAP, and I'm going to pick my company. And again, you've got multiple companies you can select. I'm going to go with our favorite down here, Vision 33 here. Now double click, and as soon as I double click, you'll see it populates up here. Now the tables. All the tables, if you look at SAP itself, matches what SAP structure is. So if you know where it is in SAP, you're going to be able to find it in the sharper light. So chart of accounts, business partners, and I'm going to go with business partners here. I'm just going to go down the tables, and I'll double click on business partner, and bam, there it is. All right. I've got filters up here. Now, as soon as I pick that table, notice the selections listed out. So anything that's associated with the business partner record, it's already linked. So I can get their names, et cetera. And again, very easy to output. I'll just go ahead and say, I want the business partner code. I want the business partner name. And I can instantly say, I don't have, if I click OK, it's going to commit it right to the workbook. If I click on preview, it's going to show me what it looks like. So if I want, I can take a quick look before, make sure this is what I want. And there it is. So I'll go back to my query again. And I'll say, you know what, but I, I want to see the city address. Right. And I'm looking on here and I'm like, holy schnookers, there's like 75 tables here. Where is address hiding? If I click on this little find button here, I just type in address. It'll bring me right to where I want for address. Or if I want city, I'll just say city. Bill to ship to city. Okay. 
Let's just pull the mouth out. I'll go ahead and preview it. And boom, I got the build to and ship to city. All right. I can come back here. I can change the order. All I have to do if I right click, I can move things up or down. So if I want to see all the ship to cities together, I can just go ahead and move it up or I can click and hold and drag it up. Either way works. It, it's again, very simple, easy to use. If I decide I want it in this order, but I want still sorted by business partner names, I can actually right click and go to my options. And I can change my sorting. So I can tell it, you know what, even though I've got the first column, which by default is how it will share or, or show, I can say, you know what, I want to do it by business partner name. And if I wanted to go afterwards, say build to city in case there were multiples. And it puts it right in the correct order. And again, I've got the option for ascending and descending. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And we'll take a peek to see how it looks. All right. So again, now I've got an alphabetical list of all my business partners in this database with the ship two cities right next to it. So you can see I got Acme, well, Tustin three times, but that's OK. But again, very quick and easy. Now, as soon as I click OK, I'm going to commit this report to my workbook. And it's asking you for a name because what it will allow you to do is reuse these queries by name again, if you like. So I'll say business partner, uh, we'll give Carl Lewis some props here. So we'll go business partner for Carl Lewis. God, I can't spell Carl. Whenever people are watching, you can never type. You ever notice that? Carl Lewis, there we go. And I'll click on okay. And now I've got my workbook all set up here. And it's right in my Excel where I can work with it. Now notice on a table formula, it puts the formula right above where the data is going to pull. So you just got to keep that in mind. So if I want something to start on row 11, I'll start my formula in row 12 because it's got to put the formula in there. If I want to go ahead and change something on the formula, all I've got to do is just double click. It'll bring the formula right back up on screen for me to change. I'm going to make one change right now because I'm not limited to just using these filters. Because let's face it, it'd be kind of a pain if every time I went in, I want to change the company, a business partner, I had to double click on this, and that would be no fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to read a cell on my workbook. So in this case, it's going to be C7, right? Now, normally I might put that in cell C4 because that's the bomb. Ooh, bad C4 joke, Russ. See, no, Carl, you got to laugh for me, man. You got to laugh at my jokes or else I'm going to feel alone. So <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Comedy stylings of Russ Keeb and Carl Lewis. Here we go. So I'm going to put dollar sign C and dollar sign seven because I want this locked in. So if I move this formula somewhere else in the workbook, it's going to stay here. And then I'll tab to get it to accept. And you can see now I've got equals to my WMS. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Runs the same report. Well, that was interesting, Russ. So why did we do that? Because now all I got to do is double click on company and look, I get the lookup list right there on the screen for me. So the user can very easily just say, oh, well, look at Scotty's company. Boom. There it is instantly. 